Welcome back guys, B is for boost. So today we have the motor that's been painted that you've seen, we have the transmission that's been painted you've seen, and today I painted the head. So we just got the head back, it is planed, it is cleaned up, and I bought some aluminum paint for it. If you look, it actually doesn't look that bad for only being two quick coats. Obviously you're not gonna see that because that's where your uh, long tube header goes, and we got two broken studs that we're gonna have to pull out, which shouldn't be too bad. And we have a bare head, other than valves and valve springs. So we do have tons of parts. Uh, the valve springs are the uh, lashes are in that bag right there, Jeff, for that head. Okay, so we do have tons of parts sitting over here. We have a timing belt, a uh, gate timing belt. We have a brand new water pump. We have a head gasket kit. We have new tensioners, new, uh, new, 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 is what it is. So we're gonna get the motor together today. We're gonna get the head on. We're gonna get the transmission on. And before Jeff is allowed to leave, the transmission motor is going to be in that bay. So as you see, whew, she's pretty bright over here with this paint, just makes it look pop. So here is the purple. Um, we're gonna get the motor and transmission set in spot, and then we're gonna be able to start doing stuff. So I never did paint the K-frame like I mentioned, but I will do it with the motor in spot because it's a little late now. So we're gonna get the motor in spot, and then we're gonna get the massive cylinder put in, and then I can start buttoning that up and then start doing the wire tuck. So we do have a wire tuck for it, but let's follow what Jeff is doing. First thing he is gonna do is the rear main seal. We just figured where it was already out, what better time to do it in than now, to be honest. God knows if it was leaking, it really wasn't leaking, but no. it was more the fact of we did put a whole bunch of uh, um, oven cleaner on this. That came out pretty easily. Yeah, they come out pretty good. So where we had oven cleaner all around this, we decided that we we're gonna do it. Now I did buy a brand new oil pan gasket as well, because what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna end up power coating the oil pan. I don't know if we should do like that fake chrome or what we should do. Do we want to do it purple? Doesn't really make any sense. Leave a comment down below. We're gonna we're gonna do something on Instagram, guys. Do we paint the intake manifold uh, raspberry purple power coat, or do we power coat it black? So we did have a couple broken studs, so we're just gonna heat them up now, get them off. We did take some of that aluminum paint. It doesn't look bad, to be honest. I don't like it. So when Jeff is heating that up, we did get the rear main seal in. So it did come with uh, a little bit of uh, a hard plastic to flip over to bang it in spot. So the rear main seal's in. Yeah, just a, just a guide that you literally just slide it in. All right, so we did get the two studs out, so that is good. Now we are going to just make sure that the surface to the block is clean from where we painted it, and then we're gonna set the head down in spot, we're gonna torque it down, and we're gonna start putting this motor together. Yay! Ow. So basically we'll get the head on, we'll get the cams in. Talking about cams, we have a little bit of a surprise. Oh, oh, oh. We are putting Crane 18s in this, just for the fact that we have them. We've had them for many years, and while we're a ricer, we want the blump, 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 blump. Oh, I heard a 2-4 second gen with those with car stage 2s in them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 18, so, we're going to get this on now. Hold on, before we get going. we got to make sure we do this in a very delicate manner. Most people do this in like a, a sealed environment. Well, this is our environment. So... <laughs> Let's get this going. Ow. Thanks. You're old. On. Look at the contrast. It actually looks kind of nice. Now, obviously, this is taped up. We're going to have to clean up that little edge when it comes time. But uh, it does look nice. You can see the little bit of the water that got shot out here. The yeah. dirty. It's covered. Oh, yeah. You won't see that. So you want shorts on both ends and then longs everywhere else. Yeah. 
we did go into the house. We do have our Mopar EGR block off that's old as hell. And we do have some Crane 18 Mopar one. Yeah. This looks, oh my God. And some Crane 18 hide in there. So we are going to do the head gasket first and then we'll get the crams in. And then I do have a set of cam gears. Let's see if I can find the cam gears. If we scroll back through the Civic truck, which is going to be pulled out this week and cleaned up in here, we should have, I'm going to go for these ones because they're, they're polished. We have a set of AEM cam gears right here. The only thing I don't like is these are a three bolt. I'm pretty sure the ones on the other motor are a five bolt. Nope, they're three bolt. So this motor has crane, no, yeah, crane 12s. 12. And with AM, so we're gonna use these ones for that one. Where these ones are clean, they're a polish, so it'll look nicer. Okay, let me get out my phone. So tighten one through six to 25 pounds. It's multi-layer steel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you see just on the last bit of this, now we're just taking every bolt and we're going to tighten it an extra quarter turn and then the head is torqued down and then I'm assuming we're going to do the whole head first or do you want to put the transmission on and stuff and then get it in and do the head or how do you want to do it? Do you mean about the, the talking gear after we get it in? Well actually no, we're going to do that with all out here. I had a brain fart. Way easier to do the tiny belt head gasket on right now. <sighs> so I'm going to have to set this down so I can help him. So now that that is torqued, we have our lash adjusters we're gonna put in. And then it's time to do the cams. I love when you look at something and it just starts to come together. So we have the Crane 18s in. Pow. Crane 18s. Pow. So we're gonna put our new sensors on, our cam magnets and stuff, or not no, new, but. It's the block off and the thing that goes there. Yeah, and then we have there there. Right there. Yeah, and then we have the uh, cam seals are new is what I meant to say. Yeah. So we are about to torque down the cap cams or cam caps, and I started doing the EGR. Ran into an issue of which I will show you. Our EGR delete. You actually got to cut your own bolt down. So we got to take that off, cut the bolt down so that fits tight because we are doing the EGR delete on this. And he is just looking at the. He is looking for the sequence for how you do the cams. And then we're gonna get that done. We're gonna get the clutch on, transmission on, and then we're sliding this in the spot. Okay, so we have the water pump tube back in the spot. Jeff is just tightening it up now, hopefully. It fits all the way in. Once that's in, we can put the water pump on, then we can start doing the timing. Now I removed the tube, obviously, because it's easier to paint and less likely to peel. Probably not the smartest idea. Yeah, but it's smart for paint. Yeah, but there are no one Well, we put it back in the used one, so it's not like... No, no, it, it's the fact that the old seal... Okay, so we do have our Daryl Cox racing cam gear tool, which lines it up without messing around. He's gonna set it at top dead center, and then it's basically slide the belt on, put on a few parts, and then sign up the transmission and clutch on. Woo -hoo. What do you think, Jeff? Should have set it at top dead center before. Shh. That's all right, it's not. It's literally just passed, so I just gotta- Go back a little bit? Return it, so. Okay, so the timing is almost done. We got the cams unlocked and he is just gonna turn it over by hand to make sure it still lines up where it should be. And then we'll put the outer cover on, which we did modify so you can get at the cam gears. 
It almost looks like it's coming off that pulley. Where? That tensioner. Yeah, it'll seat itself. The outer cover is already modified to show the cam gears, and we have the underdrive pulley that we'll put on. Um, one thing you did notice is we did paint our bracket silver, our plate, to match the head. Here we go. Was it lined up? Yep. Let's see. Boom, dead on. I don't know, I think that does worse if you put that there. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but good. And also hold it in spot. And then the inner drive pulley, and then the fun thing, clutch. Clutch won't be bad. Neither is transmission. That is a Mopar, a modern performance one. Is that? Yeah. One of the old ones. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Call me old. I'm just saying you have a lot of old parts. I bought that brand new. Did you? Yeah. Many, many moons ago. Okay, in this mess of a garage, you'll see that we have the brand new PT clutch on and here is the painted transmission. So we are going to mate that to that and uh, we're getting close to being done for mating stuff for the most part. So I'm gonna set you guys up to watch us and Jeff is gonna do all the work. You see the transmission's bolted up with three or four bolts. We're gonna paint the starter tomorrow. We're gonna power coat all the heads of the bolts for the transmission. We're gonna do the valve cover tomorrow. Um, a couple brackets that need to go in as well. The alternator bracket, the alternator housing that we took apart, and a couple odds and ends. That way this motor can go in spot. So as you see, we did get everything done. I do like the fact that we did go with silver in between the transmission and the block. And then you do see the head silver as well. So uh, I don't know what color we're gonna go for the intake manifold. We were thinking purple originally, but we think it might be too much purple. So we might do the whole motor black and silver. So we'd probably do the, uh, the intake manifold black with the black valve cover with the silver or the polished over cam lettering is what I'm thinking. Which then would go with the cam gears and stuff as well. Yeah. Which means purple engine bay, black, everything else would look nice. Yeah. So we're going to leave it at that, guys. If you're new, subscribe, turn on post notifications. The next video of this, we will be putting the motor into that, wiring up the wire tuck, and then we're going to start doing the wheel woods because we do have, what is it, six piston wheel woods? No, the four piston, but they're, they're just huge. They're massive. Uh, we got, uh, I think they're wheels, super lights, super light wheel woods for yeah. this. Uh, we do have the axles going in and then we're going to take the suspension, get that back on the ground and then we're going to pull the dash to do the wire tuck in the engine bay or in, in there, we get the hood put back on. Uh, we got to retrofit the headlights before the hood can go back on and the bumper can go back on. So that's coming up very soon actually to retrofit. And then that way we can just start knocking stuff out guys. So I do appreciate you checking me out. Uh, there's other videos up on the screen and uh, have a good one.